Hello, everybody. My name is Sneer. I'm uh, one of the five heirs.com uh, founders. And today, in this short uh, uh, video, I will analyze the GBP USD for the short term uh, opportunities. As we can see on the chart, I marked the uh, green line above us, which is a kind of significant uh, support resistance. You can look at the left and see exactly how this line, I just put a line over there also that you can see with me. We can see exactly how is this level is kind of significant and critical level which been support and resistance few times in the past here and here and here and all the way to the left. After the election uh, one week ago, uh, the UK elections, uh, we could see the uh, GBP USD uh, make a very nice and strong rally up there in about maybe more than 300 pips. And now the price just came back to this source of demand at the bottom. What I will do now is just to wait and see if this demand will still hold the price still uh, 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 still staying in this level and as we can see the price is now just between two critical breakout opportunities one of them it's up there it's the support resistance level and I will wait to see if the price will break out this support resistance it indicates that most likely the price will tend to reach the supply level number one above and maybe even the supply level number two here at the top. If the price will break this support resistance, I will definitely look for a reason to buy GBPUSD. It can be a chart patterns, it can be a, a, to look for a, a new fresh demand a, 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 to join the, the momentum. But the, any reason that we will find to buy, I will buy the GBP USD because there is very high probability that if the price will break at this support resistance, it will tend to reach the supply above, maybe the one at the top which both of them, uh, uh, of course, uh, can be the target for this buy position. Uh, this analysis, it's uh, relevant for a kind of a day trading opportunities, a day trading forex trader. And the space between this supply and this support, it's about 100 pips, which is more than enough to try a, a, and hook up some a, a day trade opportunity. The other scenario is if the price will break out this uh, support, not support, sorry, this demand, as we can see, it was the source of all this rally uh, one week ago. So if the price will break out this demand from the left, I think we, if we can move to the one, to the hourly chart, we could see the whole picture much clearer. Okay. So, as we can see also the price now is just struggling between this demand, which is already support to this resistance above. And the price just still playing between those two levels. So if the price will break out towards down this demand, it will most likely will tend to reach this demand here at the bottom there is another critical level here at the middle which we should consider this level also but the idea is just to wait and sit and to wait and see if the price will break out this support above or this sorry this support resistance above or this demand which is already support uh, 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 below this if it will break out below this demand, of course, I will look for a, a sell position, a, a price action setup, something like a fresh supply or any other chart patterns 
that will give me the uh, the signal to sell GBP USD. The first target will be this demand here. As we can see, these little small candles and then the, the, the price rally up. And the final target for this sell position, if it will be, uh, the final target will be this demand here at the bottom. As I marked here this line, you can see it. And that's all for now. So just sit and wait and let the price to do what he should do. After all, one of these two levels will be breakout. This one up or this one down and the picture will be much more clear and it will be much more safer to trade uh, these pairs. So thank you for listening and wish you success in this uh, the rest of this trading week. Bye bye.